Yeah, well, you know what, mate? Maybe socialism. Shit. Hi, I'm Jeff Norcott. I'm taking my show Traditionalism up to the Edinburgh Fringe in August, and then I'm going on a UK-wide tour in October and November, and I'm going to try and take on all the big subjects, including... But most of all, I just want it to be funny. OK, anything else that doesn't somehow manage to offend the entire country? Uh, yeah, bring back Ed Miliband. That'd be the... OK, so you think you'd do better? No, I just think it'd be a laugh. Right. <laughs> So, Jeff, I understand you do call yourself a feminist. Uh, you? Depends. Right now, I would, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Agree, disagree, or not sure. And that's because the sound of clapping apparently can trigger people with nervous dispositions. What about people with Parkinson's who think that you're taking the piss? <laughs> that's what makes it weird that I vote Conservative. I grew up on a council estate. My dad was a big trade union man. So, growing up, I was sort of like a political Billy Elliot. Do you know what I mean? I had to <laughs> conceal my true identity. Hiding the Telegraph inside a copy of Razzle, you know, I was... <laughs> you no idea how hard it was for me. But if you are going to use it, then of course it's probably best to say, I'm going to use some bad language. Um, be warned. Yeah, I agree, it's not that great a swear word. I mean, I've got loads better ones than that. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Cockwomble. <laughs> what is a cockwomble? It's a penis that clears up after itself. <laughs> But the point is, you've got to be realistic about what's required in the theatre of war, right? He's crying at that, yeah? He's not going to be any good on foot patrol, is he? You know? I mean, the bloke that cries sniffing a tea bag can hardly be relied upon to torture village. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs>